Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be graphing cosine functions. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Kapag cosine function ang ating igagraph, medyo kamukha siya ng sine function. Magsisimula lagi siya doon sa parent graph ng cosine function. Ito yung pinaka equation or standard form ng cosine function. We have y equals a cosine b theta. Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating graph, nagsisimula agad tayo dun sa pinaka-maximum point. Yun yung behavior ng cosine function. Kung yung sine function nagsisimula sa origin, yung cosine doon agad sa maximum niya. Bababa dito sa isang intercept, bababa further sa minimum point, tataas papuntang isang intercept hanggang dito sa pangalawang maximum point. Meron pa rin tayong tinatawag na amplitude. Ito pa rin yung height ng curve. At yung ating amplitude is still absolute value of A. Ang period naman natin is the length of one cycle kasi nga umuulit-ulit siya. It's from the y-axis until 2 pi over the absolute value of B. Again, this is the parent graph for the cosine function. We have y equals cosine theta or y equals cosine x. Depende dun sa notation ng angle. So let's go agad sa example number 1. We have to graph one period of 3 cosine 1 half theta. Identify muna natin yung a. We have positive 3 and b is 1 half. For the amplitude, this is the absolute value of 3, or simply 3. And for the period, meron tayong 2 pi over the absolute value of 1 half. So, isimplify natin tong complex fraction na ito. We have 2 pi times the reciprocal of 1 half, or 2 over 1. So, in other words, ang period natin ay 4 pi. Recall from sine function na kailangan natin kuhanin yung isang buong period tapos i-divide natin yon into 4 partition. Kaya naman, dito sa ikaapat na marker, dapat ito ay 4 pi because ang isang period natin ay 4 pi. Hatiin natin sa kalahate yung 4 pi, that is just 2 pi. Ibig sabihin, yung pinakagitna, yun yung 2 pi. 2 pi is further divided... Para makuha natin yung first marker, which is just pi. And adding this to 2 pi and pi, ang ating third marker ay 3 pi. So yan yung mga kakailangan natin na marker for the x-axis para mag-graph yung ating cosine function. Again, ang behavior ng cosine function ay magsisimula agad sa maximum point niya. Ang amplitude natin ay 3, kaya magsisimula yan dito. Bababayan uh, sa isang smooth curve papunta sa isang intercept. And bababa pa further hanggang dito sa point na ito. Tataas naman until this point. And finally, dito naman sa kabilang point. So, para siyang pa-V, pero dapat smooth curve yung pagkaka-drawing sa kanya. For the maximum point, meron tayong dalawa. We have 0, 3 and 4 pi, 3. For the minimum, we have 2 pi, negative 3. And for the intercept, meron tayong dalawa. Pi, 0 and 3 pi, 0. So, ganito yung mas tamang curve para sa y equals 3 cosine 1 half theta. Let's go to the second example. Dito naman, negative naman yung ating multiplier for cosine. Pero the behavior is quite the same. Iba lang yung ating direction. Magsisimula tayo sa negative y-axis. Still, we have to identify A. This is negative 2. And B is is one-fourth. 
Alamin natin ang amplitude at period. I'll give you 10 seconds to solve for the amplitude and period. After 10 seconds, reveal natin yung correct answer. Amplitude natin is the absolute value of A, which is negative 2. Absolute value nyan is just 2. For our period, we have 2 pi over the absolute value of B, which is 1 fourth. Simplify natin to, we have 2 pi times 4 over 1, or simply, this is 8 pi. Ito yung ating Cartesian plane. Ilagay natin yung mga markers. Sa fourth marker natin, yung isang buong period, which is 8 pi. Hatiin natin sa kalahate yung 8 pi. Meron tayo sa gitna na 4 pi. Let's divide that further into 2. We have 2 pi. Adding 2 pi and 4 pi, ang third marker natin dito ay 6 pi. So, yan yung ating mga markers for the x-axis. Now, let's draw the curve for y equals negative 2 cosine 1 fourth theta. Dahil negative ang ating function, we have negative 2, magsisimula tayo sa minimum value niya. Yun yung kaibahan kapag positive yung ating coefficient for the cosine. So, we start at negative 2, tapos pataas siya. Hanggang dito sa unang intercept. Tapos change direction, pataas pa din. And then, yan, pababa na ngayon. Until eventually it hits again its lowest point. So, yan yung ating isang period ng y equals negative 2 cosine 1 fourth theta. I'll give you another 10 seconds to solve for the maximum, minimum, and intercept of this function. After 10 seconds, we reveal natin yung correct answer. Obviously, the maximum point is 4 pi comma 2 tapos meron tayong minimum point na 0 comma negative 2 and 8 pi comma negative 2 for the intercept meron tayong 2 pi comma 0 and 6 pi comma 0 so yan yung mga key points sa ating unang period ng negative 2 cosine 1 fourth theta Ito yung kanyang mas maayos na graph. So that's it for graphing cosine function. Sa susunod na video, ibang trigo function naman ang ating igagraph. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!